Good, now put your hand back on the bow. My name is Allie Johnson. I'm the Adaptive Physical Education Specialist in Early Learning with Edmonton Catholic Schools. Good, and try with your other elbow. Our job is really to support inclusion. So if there's a child with a disability, we're adapting activities if necessary so that they can meaningfully participate in all areas of movement. We're gonna go forward and stretch our arms and legs as far out as you can. When I go into a classroom, my role is to help build capacity with that teacher and then everybody else on the team to sort of create a holistic view of that child. We are going to use these, which are called gymnic balls. I know. Gymnic yeah. balls are really great because they're working on creating a relationship between the child and that ball. It's a novel activity for them. It's really great for building upper body, core strength, balance, coordination. And it's also really creative and expressive. So I approach it in a way that the children are offering suggestions and ideas. And, and at the end, we have a little piece that we show. Let's try our seaweed arms moving side to side. I explored body parts, so body part identification with help, which helps with body management and body awareness in space. So we were stirring the ball with different body parts. We were exploring pathways, so using the gymnic ball at high levels and low levels, in curvy shapes and zigzag shapes. Do you remember our octopus? Squiggling and wiggling. And then we did a sort of ocean creature sequence where we were moving like different ocean creatures on the ball and then we put it all together with music. When I was using the gymnic balls, I was working on a number of different broad-based strategies including improving balance and core strength, improving bo body management in space, so working on spatial awareness. Put your hands where the hand is and your feet where the feet are. I have some spot markers that are in the shapes of hands and feet, and those are really great um, for developing balance and core strength. So I'll often put the hands and feet down and ask a child to make that shape with their body. So they first have to look at the hands and feet and process where their hands and feet are going to go. I'm always keeping it autonomous for the children, so we take turns making shapes. So then they'll often make a shape for their friend or make a shape for me to try. Imagination Playground is a set of blocks. They're really great for inspiring movement. Children are having to reach up high, so it's building upper body strength. They're having to work together on their projects. They're figuring out, um, you know, visually what fits where and how things fit together. They also provide you with some small balls, and so there's some blocks that children can put together. They can make a track for the ball, and then you'll find that they're working on their underhand rolling or underhand throwing as a result of you know trying to make the ball go through the track. The trick is to hold the strings tight. Another thing that we have are stilts so they're in the shape of feet and they have strings attached and those are really fun. It's a really great thing for building balance and coordination so the children hold the strings and then walk. It's a challenging activity that encourages building balance and core strength. Good job! Another thing that we have here in Playscapes is a wedge mat, which lots of schools have. I often teach them how to do a forward roll. Tuck your chin. We're going to go all the way up and over. Good job. When they're rolling, it challenges their vestibular system, and then their brain has to kind of reset, and it's really great for building their coordination and balance. Every year of development is so big for a child that you know, taking a year back, their body is still that much newer to them. And so, you know, learning to coordinate it is still coming along.